Hi students, in this video we will be discussing about heating effect of electric current and its applications. When a current flows through a resistor, some of the electric energy is converted into heat energy and gets dissipated. This heating effect of current is known as Joule's heating effect. Thus, Joule's heating effect leads to Joule's law. A consider a current I that is flowing through a conductor which is kept across a potential difference V at a time T. So the work done is given as work done is equal to V I T. In the absence of external effect, the energy is spent in heating the conductor such that the amount of heat is expressed as H. So the work done is converted into heat. So heat is given as V I T. As the current is passing through a resistor R, when it is passing through a resistor R, it is given as H V I T is given as, we know that V equal to I R. Substituting this in this equation, we get H is equal to I square R T. This expression gives Joule's law. We can say that the heat emanated is directly proportional to the square of the current that is passing through the conductor. Resistance and the time period where the current flows through. So this we call it as Joule's law of heating. Applications of Joule's heating effect. The first one is electric heaters. So in home appliances such as electric heaters, electric toasters and electric iron consist of material which is made up of nichrome. And nichrome is alloy of both nickel and chromium. Nichrome, why they use nichrome as a special conductor in the sense? Nichrome has high specific resistance and they are heated to very high temperature without getting oxidization. The next is electric fuses. Normally in homes, the electric fuses are connected in series and they are used to protect the devices when the excessive amount of current flows through the conductors, thus by saving the devices. So the fuse wires normally fuse are made up of very short length with very low melting point. So normally we will be using lead and copper as, as fuse wires. So when excessive current flows through the conductor, normally the fuse wire melts and burns. In case of lead and copper, when the current flows more than 5 ampere or 35 ampere, normally they get melted and burns out. And the next application is that it is used in electric furnace. So electric furnaces are used to manufacture steel, iron, quartz, gallium arsenide and carbon also. So normally we will be discussing about two types of electric furnaces. One is molybdenum nichrome which is bonded on silica which is capable of producing a temperature up to 1500 degrees Celsius and another is carbon arc furnace which is capable of producing a temperature of 3000 degree celsius. The final application is that a normal electric lamp. So an electric lamp consists of a tungsten filament whose melting point is 3380 degree celsius. So normally when a current passes through it is heated and it produces incandescent light. So well, in this case the electric energy, only 5% of the electric energy is converted into light energy. The remaining electric energy is only dissipated as heat energy. So these are all the applications of Joule's law of heating.